and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you guys already know from the thumbnail, this is part three of the Mama Mitchell series that I'm doing. So this in this video, we are gonna be testing out the mini palette, which comes in its own little pouch and in the box as well. And we're also gonna be testing out the blushes. So the blushes are a cream blush. I have the shade Peach Sugar, uh, Posy Rosy, which is more of a pinky tone, and then Sweet Cheeks, which is more of like a baby pink. I think today I'm either gonna go in with Peach Sugar or Posy Rosy, as I don't want like a bright pink um, blush, but yeah, let's, let's see. So this is the palette. Palette. It is a neutral palette with a pop of colour. So it is a nine pan palette. It is the typical green colour that Mum Mitchell has and it is absolutely stunning. So we're going to be playing with quite a few of these shades. I'm going to try and use as many shades as possible on my eyes today. So yeah, let's get into this video. So before we carry on, please do make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel because why not join the family? And also, but link down below, I have now set up a Patreon. So I have recently been written off work, which means I need to figure out other ways to pay my bills <laughs> so if you do so if you do want to support a girl and help me financially to be able to still do these videos where I can test out new makeup with you please do go and become a patron there are four different tiers one is one pound a month one is three pound a month one is five pound a month and one is ten and with each tier there are different positive things that you get like patreon only giveaways patreon only videos and stuff like that so yeah if you do want to become a patreon please do please do become one because why not join the family in other ways so yeah let's get into this video so as you can tell i'm pretty like creamy right now and that is because we're using a cream product and i don't want to set my entire face so i've only set like just under my eyes, I haven't even drag it down, nothing. So I'm pretty much dewy everywhere. My eyelids have no primer on because it always creases and it stresses me out. So yeah, let's go into the blushes. So these are the three shades. They just look like this. I actually love the packaging of my Mitchell stuff. And then when you open them up, they do look like this. They are a frosted glass bottle. Well, at least I think they're glass. No, plastic. A frosted plastic bottle with the green lid and then the logo on top of Mum Mitchell, which is actually really cute. So this is the shade Peach Sugar. I'm going to swatch all of them on my hand for you. And then this is that one. These are very pigmented. These do retail £14 each, but I got mine in the Valentine's sale where they had like three for 25. So that is that one. It's more of like a peachy tone. I don't know what it is with my camera. It never picks up like peach tones. It always ever turns it pink or red, which is really strange. Next is this one, which I think this is Posy Rosy, which is more of a like pink, straight pink tone. And yeah, that's that one absolutely stunning and then let's swatch this one it hasn't even set down yet so this is this one yeah this one's straight up pink that's kind of iconic do we go in with that one today is it scary kind of are we gonna look like a clown probably but do i care absolutely not i'm literally just breaking them so i can get into them because the little tab just gets like stuck and i've kind of had enough of it to be honest and then this is like the baby pink shade this one matches my nails kind of if you think about my nails i do them all myself so don't worry I'm not going to any nail salons and then this is the baby pink shade let's watch this one here yeah that's straight up baby pink <laughs> oh those shades are beautiful though i've kind of got like a shade for each one that peachy one's more of like an orangey peach so those are the three shades that i have i do have where's the sbf which is the red shade but i don't will not be using that so i put it in a giveaway which is on the instagram right now so yeah i'm not going to swatch that because it's fully for a giveaway so yeah i think we should get into this they still haven't like settled down on my hand so i'm gonna wipe them off and this palette, um, how much does it retail for? So this mini palette actually retails £27, which is a little bit a lot. It's a lot for the nine shades, but we're going to test out see if it's worth it. It does come in like a pouch, so I don't really mind. Let's get into this. I'm either going to go in with, I'm doing like a pinky look. So do we go, we're going in with Posy Rosy, which is the pinky tone. I'm not going to go in the peach. I genuinely thought I was going to go in with the peach today, but yeah, I'm going to go in my like cream blush brush. And this is from Bay Beauty on Instagram. It's absolutely stunning so let's zoom you in whilst i put this on wrong way so here's the side of my cheek now they said only put a little bit on so i'm a little bit scared okay so i have a mirror and i have the blush am i terrified absolutely okay so i'm only gonna put like three tiny little dashes and we're gonna blend this out and then we can always add more okay blends out really nicely hmm I thought that was gonna okay because i wiped quite a lot off i thought that was gonna end up a bit more peachy more pink so let's add some more 
Am I going ham? Absolutely. Because I do want to look like a clown. What the heck not? Oh, that's what I'm looking for. Straight up pink. I really like that. Like, I still haven't put like loads on, which is good, but that blended out like a dream. And I've got like powder here and it hasn't like, un it hasn't like broken up my powder. Like you can kind of see where I put powder here. That looks really pretty, really pretty. And I think that's gonna show through my, my powder when I powder down my face. Okay, and now on the other side. I think there's a little bit more on this side than I did on the other. Whoopsies. I have got the Superstay um, foundation on, so if you do use that foundation, this is just kind of showing what it looks like on top of it. I did put a lot on the side, so I'm surprised it looks like this. Ooh, that looks gorge. That looks so cute. Oh, it looks so blushed. Let's put a tiny bit on the end of the nose. Just a tiny bit. Don't know why I'm not going to try and make myself look like a clown. Because this is where I like to put my blush. Have we made a mistake? We will find out. Ooh, okay. Do you know what? That shade I thought was gonna be vibrant as hell, but with the amount I've put on, it's kind of like, not subtle, but like, it's beautiful. And it hasn't taken away my cream contour, it hasn't lifted my foundation. Kind of enough of that. And look at my end of my nose. Looks so cute. Let's zoom you out. Okay, so now I've tried that blush. It is genuinely beautiful. And these are 14 pounds each, and you get quite a lot of product in these. How much do you get? You get six mils of products. 14 pounds isn't like high end, nor like drugstore, but it's kind of like in the middle, and I think they're actually pretty good worth it. So yeah, I'm gonna go put these in my drawer. These are gonna be a fave. I know they will. That looks beautiful. Ooh. So yeah, these are the blushes. They look absolutely stunning. So yeah, let's get into powdering my face, doing the rest of my face. I'm gonna powder, bronze, blush. It depends if I add more blush. Because if I powder and this kind of disappears, I'll add a bit more. But if it doesn't, we're not gonna add any more. But I'm gonna bronze, highlight and stuff like that. And then I'll be back to test out the highlighter. Highlighter? Eyeshadow palette. So yeah, see you guys in a minute. Okay, I'm now back with all my base done. I didn't actually end up putting any more blush on because as you can tell, you can fully still see it. And I set my entire face. Like there's no blush on the end of my nose except for the cream. And you can still fully see the pink. Like the highlight is covering a little bit of it, but you can still see it, which is actually really good which i really like and you can proper see it here which i really do enjoy and adding like less powder onto my face i still i feel like less dry like more powders and powders i use i feel drier but now i don't have to like put blush on i literally feel like a little bit more hydrated if you get what i mean other than that, let's get into testing the palette. So I'm gonna quickly prime my eyelids using the XX Revolution Concealer, because you guys already know, this stuff's the best. If you haven't already tried this out as an eye base, um, you're broken. It is genuinely amazing. Oh, mirror. Oh, it's me again, there's two of me even better okay so let's get into testing this palette so i want to put like neutrals into my crease pop of color on my lid and then a pop of color on my lower lash line i think that's the best we're gonna use a lot of these colors so i think let's dive into this i'm gonna quickly use this morphe brush it's like a little bit like funny shape so this is the brush i'm gonna use it comes in a four set let's go into this shade half away and pop this onto my eyeball let's pack this onto my outer corner as you guys already know we're gonna do one eye on camera, one eye off. You just know the drill by now. That pigmentation, huh? There's no fallout on my face. There's a little bit of kickback on the pan, but that's okay, it's not the worst. That looks stunning, literally looks beautiful. Look how easy that's going on. I'm just kind of bringing this into the inner portion. We are gonna like do a, like a rough little cut crease, not like a shaped one, like a rough one. You'll get what I mean when I've done it. I can't, this shade has gone on in seconds. That is beautiful. When I was picked, when I brought these palettes, I got three of them for £80, so the two big ones and this one. So I didn't know, I first, I thought it was just the two big ones. And then this arrived, I was like, did I buy that? And then I checked my order confirmation, it was like all three palettes. And I was like, oh, that's why. And then I was like, wait, what is this palette? And then I looked inside, I was like, it's a neutrals palette with like pops of like shimmery shimmers and stuff. Like the thing, the purple is a little bit like, it should be in the uh, Head in the Clouds palette because I was looking for a deep purple in the Head in the Clouds. But I think these are all just supposed to like pair up together and stuff. But when you're doing like separate tutorials, it's a little bit difficult. Do you have to say so himself? That is just blending beautifully. I'm literally just softly touching the edges. 
Oh yeah. Because I know this is going to be a quick eye, I am going to do the other eye at the same time. So that's both eyes on. Because this is like really easy to use and I'm not doing a massive intricate eye, I find that doing both eyes, I might as well. Um, it saves me a little bit of time going back and forth. So I'm gonna pick up the same brush, just a different one. This one's stained pink, so I'm sorry about that. And we're gonna go into this shade, which is Walter's box. Walter, is Walter his cat? I don't know. Maybe I should find that out. And we're just gonna buff that onto the edges. Just kind of blend this shade out into my skin tone. These neutral shades are my type of neutrals. Like I love a warm tone and neutral. Like that's just what I need in my life. Look how quick that blended out. Like what? I cannot fault Mitchell for his pigmentation the formula of his eyeshadows. Every single palette I think I've enjoyed. Like since i've had these palettes and tested them so i tested the other two palettes a few days ago and ever since i've been using them all the goddamn time and it's like okay another statement palette in my collection i don't do many like, neutral eyes on my channel i do a lot of colorful which is something like that's a little bit like different for people because a lot of other youtubers they're more like on the neutral side and i'm like come give me a bit of color that's all i'm saying okay so now that's kind of on I think that's really pretty. I'm gonna kind of like roughly cut my crease. Let me show you how. So I'm gonna quickly get like one of these brushes, not a massive like defined brush. We're gonna get a tiny bit of concealer. There is kickback in both of those shades that I did use, but to be honest, if you don't care about that, then these shades are beautiful. So I'm kind of just like roughly, just to add a little bit of a sticky base so then the shades have something to stick to in like that kind of shape so it isn't the best cut crease because it's not supposed to be a complete cut crease i don't want anything like neat i want to blend shades together really effortlessly so yeah basically that is what i kind of wanted let me get these little white bits here that are literally like sticking out like a sore thumb yeah that's exactly what i want and let's swatch some of the shimmers so we have four fingers and four shimmers. So first one is Snow Cone, which is the blue. Second is Appetite, which is the green. Fourth is Mermitch, which is the like green, like dark blue. Then what pink is the pink shade. Now I've got them all on my fingers. Let's swatch them. So here's my arm. Here's the pink one. That swatched pretty well. Then we have the light blue. Oh, that's pretty. Then we have the lime green. That's very stunning. And then the dark tealy bluey shade. Oh, that's stunning too. Okay, we need to make a decision. I'm thinking pink on the lid, green in the inner corner, blue underneath. And then we can kind of put like the darker blue here. Do we think that will be good? That gets like most of the shades. And then on top, I'm gonna try and do like a wing with the dark shade. And that is basically using all of the shades but two so seven out of nine is pretty good so let me get a little pack of brush so i'm gonna get one of these brushes and we're gonna pick up the pink one of that all the shimmers have like the m embossed into it which is actually really cute what i do have to say about the mini palette is that the shades don't feel as creamy as the other palettes um i don't know what that is but they're working really well that is applying really well but it isn't as like shimmery as i want but you can kind of tell in the pan it's not so i can't really complain that looks very pretty though very do we think it will go on better with a finger let's try no it's kind of the same that's still very beautiful pretty though i think it's just not a massive like metallic shade it's kind of just like a basic shimmer and it looks it looks pretty it does now let me do the other eye that looks very pretty i think with the warm tones there's a little bit of like a clash going on but we can kind of fix that with like adding other colors okay next shade okay we're gonna go in with the green and we're gonna pop this on like the inner corner oh see that is what we're looking for 
I'm gonna kind of bring that onto the lid a little bit just to give it its kind of own little yeah that looks pretty that looks very pretty that is so foiled look at that i kind of want to see what it looks like wet shall we have a little look at the littlest bit of like water well not water setting spray onto my brush then dip in then apply oh it intense it's gone from like look at that i want to kind of put a liner on when i go off camera just to kind of define the colors a little bit because i think that little cut crease is kind of blending in a little bit too much yeah that's really really pretty that does look very pretty though so let's put the green well the blues on the lower lash line let's go in with the blue which is a snow cone they're like light blue and we're just gonna pop that here this isn't the most like creative look, but we are trying to use as many colors from the palette as possible. There's a little bit fallout on my face, but we move on. But I think again, this will intensify if I add spray. So let me do it on the other eye first. That looks so pretty. Well, that blue. Okay, let's add a little bit of water. Well, not water. Um, set and spray. Dip me brush in. Kids it all soaks up. Gets in my shadow. Kind of makes a little paste. Oh, okay. With these shimmers, add set and spray. Because they go from like, ooh, to what? That looks stunning. That genuinely does look really, really, really pretty. Like, it's popping the blue so so much and i'm kind of in love okay lastly is the shade well, not lastly mermich which is kind of funny i thought it said mermich and then i was like uh maybe it doesn't say that so we're gonna dip into that shade we're gonna dip into it dry first oh that shade's intense let me blend it together Ooh, that looks insane. I look quite funny right now. I do have to say so myself. I do quite look hilarious. <sighs> this wasn't the look I was thinking of doing today, but we're going in. This look is like, it's done a little turn. Made for the worst, made for the good, but it's, it's done a little turn. I do have to say so myself. Those blues are really intense. Like, really intense. The only shade I was a little bit like, mmm, is the pink. The pink is a little bit like lackluster. It doesn't have like a lot of oomph to it. But to be honest, you can have every shade. Amazing. Well, you could, but here we go. Now we're going to go into Cocoa Pop, which is the deep, like, brown shade. And we're going to kind of like create a wing. Not a wing, but like a liner. Oh, that fell out all over my face. yeah there's a lot of fallout with this shade that is a shade i wouldn't want it falling out and it, yeah but it's embedded itself on my face and right here it's fallen out all over my cheek which isn't the best i'm not the happiest with that we now have to repeat it on the other side It's not the best look I've done, but I have tried to like use every single eyeshadow. So let me go onto the edge and kind of like buff that dark shade out. It looks pretty. I'm gonna quickly go off camera, do something to make this a little bit more Shazam, add a mascara and lash, and then I'll be back with my final review. So yeah, see you guys in a minute. I am now back with my lashes and everything done. So I did add like a little liner just to kind of like define where the cut crease was. And I think it actually pulled the whole look together. Like look, it's really cute. I used the Sheen Peach one. It is the Epic Ink, uh, Epic Liner in Puff, Peach Puff which is a really nice colour and I use that and it's really, really cute. So that is what I did to just kind of finish off the look. The lashes I'm wearing today are, they are Bad Girl Archive lashes. These are part of the collection. They have like a little bundle of like five lashes. I'm literally currently going to have to wear five pairs of lashes today um, <laughs> to film a video for them. But yeah, these are the lashes. They look really cute. They're like little cluster lashes, which I really like. And okay, let's get into the review of the products. So, first of all, £14 for these. 
Okay, at first I thought like £14, mm, and then I tried them. They're stunning. They are beautiful, and I really do like these. I think these are something I'm going to wear on the everyday basis, and I'm probably going to need to buy some backups. Yeah, it's one of those situations that I'm going to need a backup, and this is the first time me using them. So yeah, these are absolutely beautiful. Of course, I only have three shades, but the other shades I'm just not going to wear. Like, one's just like a purpley, way too dark. The red is way too dark, and the orange I'd only wear like once a month and i don't think it's like just a me color but these colors are absolutely beautiful and i think i'm gonna pick up some more and yeah that's what i think of those those are absolutely beautiful and they look stunning on the skin they haven't broken down anything and it's just beautiful okay second is the palette the palette it is 37 pounds which 37 27 pounds which for a nine pound palette is a lot okay it, it is okay i wouldn't have bought this if i didn't realize like if it didn't come in the pouch i thought i was paying eight pound for the two big ones but for 30 nearly 30 quid for one palette it is a little bit extortionate i do have to say so myself but the quality of the shadows are really nice the only shadow that i was a bit like mm, was the shimmery pink but the rest were absolutely stunning and that's what i have to say i know this is very much mitchell on brand the pouch you get with it as well so even if you like took away a fiver for just taking away the pouch and you just got the palette without this this would still be like 23 pounds and would i pay 23 pounds i'd probably pay like 15 pounds or 20 to a stretch okay 20 to a stretch but this is a lot it is that's my honest opinion it is a lot for a nine shadow like eyeshadow palette if you get what i mean i get it the pans are quite big that's what i've figured with Mitchell the pan size is actually really big like the quality of the shadows is absolutely amazing I do think it is just a little bit overpriced because you pay an extra I think it's like this is 27 and then the big palettes are 45 so you pay an extra 18 pounds for 16 shades like 16 shades for an extra 18 pounds that's a pretty good but you're paying nearly a pound a shade but here you're paying nearly three pounds a shade it's a little bit it's a little bit it's a lot it's a lot okay it is a lot and that's just like my honest uh, review of it even though it is beautiful and i think if you do want to spend that much money on this palette go for it it's really nice but it is extortionately priced and that's my honest opinion and that's all i want to be is honest with you guys and this is the one thing and their brush set is like 70 pounds for like a few like seven brushes and i'm like what i could never and that is a lot like, few of the items are a little bit overpriced which on my point of view i wouldn't go out and buy see if this didn't turn up with the palettes i wouldn't have straight up and been like oh yeah let me just go spend 27 pounds on this do you get what i mean uh, i kind of got it for free in the whole collection because those palettes are 45 pounds each that's like 90 quid i paid 80 that's i thought oh, i was getting 10 pound off that's fine um and i was like yeah that's cool fine and then this turned up i was like oh okay but um yeah i think it is a little bit extortionate but that's my final review on that that eyeshadows are buttery and they are really good so if you want to spend that much money on them, go for it. Perfectly fine. But if you are a type of girl that likes to keep the coin when you can need it, um, this isn't something I'd be like, do you know what? Go out and spend your money on it because it is overpriced. That is it. If you want to spend that type of money, go for it. It's actually a really nice palette. It's just overpriced. <laughs> That's all I have to say. And that is it for today's video. So yeah, if you guys did like videos like this, please do like, comment and subscribe because why not join the family? And yeah, if you don't already have your notification bell already on, please do turn it on as it really does help me out and it helps you out because you get notified every time ever I, every time I upload because why not so this is the fun little look we did today i really do enjoy how it finally looks i think that liner just kind of brought it all together and i think it's really cute we did use seven out of nine shades which to be honest i've accomplished a pretty good with using most shades out of the palette when i've got like a small palette i try and use as many shades as possible just to kind of show you what they will work like on the eye swatches aren't always everything that's all i have to say like that pink swatch pretty good but it's just kind of like it's a matte pink with like a shimmer in it so yeah that is it from me guys and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys